I'm not really very nervous to go up and fly with the jet team. I'm just super excited to get up there. I've always been a bit of an adrenaline freak. I love these things. I think most people who drone race love adrenaline. I might be a little bit more nervous once I get into the uh, cockpit, but for the moment, I'm just excited to be doing the experience. You can do anything you want on a drone racer, but you don't feel kind of the physical forces on it, whereas here, every maneuver that you make, you'll feel it in your body. I think Rich is going to be first to get knocked out, and then Brett throw up. Racing drones pull way more G the way they turn and twist. In fact, a human body can't take. I think that's pretty exciting to think of it that way. First exciting sensation, and I looked across at Gary and, and we both smiled on this, is when you take off, because you really feel the, the, the force of the jet engine. My favourite part of the experience was when we were banked over on 90 degrees and you can see the, the aircraft underneath you and then you see the ground beneath them and it's, it's just such an incredible experience. It's just so beautiful out there to start with. I mean, the view's spectacular and uh, these guys fly really, really close. You're close enough that you can see the other person in the other plane's face and kind of what they're doing. It's just the most impressive part. I think the most exciting part was definitely the manoeuvres, you know, when we were pulling the full rolls and we were feeling the full Gs. Amazing! I have to kind of tense your body to not kind of black out. That's kind of something that I've never felt before, I guess. <laughs> awesome! I think if we experience those type of Gs when we're on the, sitting on the stage, then uh, I think you'd probably see four passed out pilots on the stage. We were close to a flock of birds. Maybe the flock of birds would have hit the engine and you know you had to pull the ejector seat. At that moment you're just trying to remember the procedure of what you have to go through to pull the ejector seat and then you know you're up in the air. So obviously the physical risk to yourself is very different to drone racing because you know that uh, if things go wrong, you know you could lose your life. Um, I think the interesting thing about drone racing is your, your brain is tricked into the same experiences of adrenaline. But at the end of the day, you know, it's a very safe sport. Pretty insane to kind of be able to see that and kind of feel how close they were to get rich for those years. When they let us take control of the, the stick, actually, the, the banking left and right and the, and the pitching backwards and forwards, it's, it's just identical to flying a drone. Go, 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 push, 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 yes. <laughs> Good. Oh, man. It's great when you take control of the plane, you're actually allowed to fly the jet for a bit. And, you know, gives you the bug. I want to go and get my license out. You know, being in close formation with the planes and all the G-force and the manoeuvres, I oh, just love it out there. I don't think I'm going to ever experience anything like that again for a long time, at least. <laughs>